Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was relaxing. The idea was for it to be relaxing. I thought I would play this whole video through just once with music and the photos and let you kind of just enjoy that. And then I thought, hey, you know what, afterwards maybe we can do sort of like a director's cut version. And I don't know, maybe that'll be cool, maybe it'll be annoying, maybe my commentary will be unnecessary, but I thought I would give it a shot anyway. So let's just get into the video here and talk a little bit about this uh, experience. So this is a beach call in San Clemente, I think I'm saying that right. I was camping down here with a friend and I thought as I was walking down this path earlier in the day, hey, there's a couple shots I could get here. I think I'll go back and do like a POV style video. So that's what I decided to do. The first kind of opening section here is on the pathway down from the campground down to the beach. And I just saw this kind of like lifeguard tower here, which sort of is the first thing you see as you come around the corner. And I knew later in the evening when the light was sort of not filling this little crevice or ravine or whatever, and was just hitting the stuff in front of me that it would probably look pretty cool. And I think it does. I think it's nice. I'm not sure that I nailed this particular composition. I tried a couple of different versions and never maybe quite landed where I was hoping to, but I don't know, sometimes that happens. As you're walking around, I think you sort of work a subject for a while and then, I don't know, at least for me, sometimes I'm, I'm not quite sure if I got it right or not, but also not willing to spend a ton more time on it. So I decided to keep on going down the path and seeing what else we could find. The first part of this video is actually kind of right in this area. I found quite a few shots that were interesting to me. I also had to wait quite a bit for people to kind of come up and down the path as going to the beach and <laughs> enjoying themselves. How, how dare they? Uh, so yeah, that also slowed me down a little bit as well. Shooting today with the Fujifilm X-T4 and the 16 to 80 zoom lens f4 which has been kind of on my camera for i don't know a couple of weeks here mostly non-stop i've really been enjoying that lens i've had it for over a year but yeah i've really just been shooting a lot with it on this camera i just really like it it's just so useful and, and uh, yeah it's a great combination highly recommended i also have a, a review video on that lens if you are interested i have not reviewed the xt4 i don't know that I will. Uh, it's a great camera. I'm very happy with it. But at this point, I don't have a ton to say about it other than, you know, I like it. It's, it's, it's a nice camera. So I found this like tunnel way here, which I really liked the framing of the beach, but there was nothing here. So I waited here for probably three or four minutes. I had to speed up the video and there was just, I was hoping someone would walk by the front of this on the beach there, or there was a lifeguard truck driving by. I thought that would happen. Nothing happened, so eventually I just had to get up and and move on, basically. So I thought I'd walk up the path here along the railroad tracks. Treacherous, by the way. The trains trains come through here pretty regularly, so uh, uh, be careful if you're in this particular area. Definitely don't be uh, wearing headphones or anything. Pay attention. Uh, again, back to the lifeguard tower. I don't even know if that's what these are called, but I don't know. They, these always attract my attention because they're colorful and I think the shape of them was like this kind of I don't know like geometric uh, design is really interesting I don't know when these were made but I don't know I just find them kind of fascinating and so I have quite a few a few photos of these and I I keep gravitating back towards them on the course of this little walk here as I'm coming back down the path I see a couple coming down where I had just been and I figured okay they're gonna go through this tunnel way and I thought okay I finally got my opportunity here to go and shoot these folks or shoot some kind of subject coming through this tunnel way underneath the railroad tracks here which was pretty exciting i uh because i thought the shot would be pretty cool but i just needed some people um a lot of times if you just wait around and you need some folks some some uh stranger models <laughs> they'll, they'll show up eventually uh this was kind of a mess you don't really see it in the edit but i I couldn't seem to get my camera level. I had to edit a bunch of these because they were I was all over the place. I could never get this tunnel way into the into the center. I also never really got this these folks walking through this tunnel way like to be positioned. I don't know their their gesturing was never quite what I was hoping for, but eventually I got a couple shots of them. I was pretty happy with that overall and decided to make my way through the tunnel. I missed a shot here. This would have been great getting low with the two berms of 
like foliage and and stuff on the side with them standing on the beach i could have got a really cool i think kind of like wide shot of that but it didn't occur to me until i was editing this video <laughs> so uh you know it's funny like what you see in the moment and then what you see later uh, also my apologies for a fair amount of video of my foot and or legs and or the ground directly in front of me i shoot low a lot and my gopro was probably not really mounted quite like angled high enough and so there's a fair amount of footage of just sand sand in front of john so my, my apologies uh you'll see that happen a couple more times but hey can't fix it now it's already recorded already done once i got onto the beach here things got a little bit more challenging everything's kind of spread out i had a little bit of trouble seeing subjects that i really liked i got one or two more photos sort of interesting on the on the beach but i never quite nailed any of the compositions out here in the way that i was hoping uh, honestly it would have been a lot better if i was willing to get wet but i was going to go meet a friend down and sit and have a beer and watch the sunset and i I didn't, want, I didn't want my feet all sandy. <laughs> if you're like an outdoors or adventure photographer, I'm sure you're ashamed of me. I'm a total wimp sometimes. I, uh, I, I don't mind some discomfort, but you know, sometimes I'm just not in the mood. And I wasn't in the mood to deal with it. So I decided not to get closer to the folks in the water to get better shots and just live with kind of subpar compositions. Anyway, further down the beach here, I saw a couple of great shots of like sand pails and kids and buckets and things, but I don't know. I, I never really like to shoot people's like, children and stuff. It's always weird and I don't want to make people uncomfortable or anything. So I don't really do any of that. Um, and I'm pretty careful also about just people in general, not getting in people's way. I know a lot of folks don't care about that kind of thing. It's like they don't mind sort of getting right in front of people and taking photographs and stuff, but... I don't know. Like, I don't want people shoving a camera in my face when I'm, when I'm on my holiday or just relaxing on the weekend. I don't mind if people take photos of me in public. That's fine. But, you know, just be be reasonable about it. So, yeah, back to the, back to the lifeguard towers because they can't complain and they won't be offended uh, if I stare at them and take photos. Uh, I got one more here, one more shot of a guy surfing. This one I actually should have gotten closer. I was quite a ways back and I zoomed in, you'll see this coming up, I zoomed in quite a bit with this lens, which goes to 80 millimeters, and I should have kept going, because I was pretty far away from him, and I'm sure he wouldn't have minded if I'd gotten a little bit closer. You can't even really see him on the GoPro, and I think it would have made the composition a lot better. I could have gotten some nice, some nice um, like, subject background isolation if I'd gotten in closer as well, so... You know, one of the things that you learn as you're taking photographs is that no matter how much experience you get, you still, you're always making mistakes. Um, you're always learning new things and you're always refining the process all the time. It just never really ends. So you just have to accept that that's part of it. And you know, I think that's, you know, in large part what makes it fun too. All right, so that's kind of it for this video. Um, I pretty much just spent another 10 minutes or so walking down the beach to meet a friend and it was an absolutely beautiful evening and thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this i'm i think i'll do more of these it was really pleasant to just i don't know go take some photos and not feel like a lot of pressure around the filming part so anyway i hope you're well take it easy we'll see you in the next one